Eiffel. London, 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 London. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to this unique venue, the Gallery Suite Glow Blue Water, where Hennessy Sports proudly present this, the official press conference for an evening of European Championship Boxing coming your way Saturday night, October the 13th, live and exclusive on Channel 5 and Wealth TV in the USA. This being the latest defence of James de Gaulle's European Super Middleweight Championship and also his Channel 5 debut. We shall commence by announcing the top table as you look left to right. Presenting first of all Antoine Forugia, the trainer of the European Super Middleweight title challenger. Next to him the European Super Middleweight title challenger and French Super Middleweight champion Adila Mohamedi. The former welterweight champion of Great Britain, also challenging for the EU light welterweight title on Saturday evening, Lenny Dawes. Next to him from Hennessy Sports, our promoter Mick Hennessy. As previously stated, the current European super middleweight champion, James de Gaulle, MBE. Next to him, as a professional boxer, former European super featherweight champion, now the esteemed trainer of James de Gaulle, Mr. Jim McDonnell. And finally, finally, a wonderful opportunity for a man on the undercard, undefeated boxer from Who Kent, Adam Dinsdale. So just prior to throwing out questions from the floor, we shall ask Mr. McHennessy to make his opening statement. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, welcome today um, to all press and media, ladies and gents. Um, as always, your attendance is much appreciated. Um, I would like to welcome uh, Team Moore, uh, who Maddie, to uh, the UK first and foremost. Um, this is a, a hell of a hell of an event from top to bottom, not just a great main event. Um, if I can talk about the two title fights we've got, we've got a brilliant EBU super middleweight defence by someone who no, needs no introduction, who won the Olympic gold medal and in 13 fights became EBU champion, a real special talent, defended his EBU title against the current French champion, a very, um, very hard, uh, very fit and tenacious uh, character. Um, it's a brilliant event, Styles make fights, this is going to be a great fight, one not to miss. Um, also the man sitting to my right, Lenny Dawes, is currently number two in the EBU ratings, so he's pursuing an EBU title fight, the title that James has got. Um, he's fighting the current Finnish champion um, in an EU title fight. So two quality title fights, and on top of that, we've got some brilliant talent um, in middleweight, middleweight sensation Chris Eubank Jr., uh, super bantamweight, uh, star Kid Galahad, he's on the card, and lots of local young talent, including Adam on the end there, who um, I appreciate coming down today. He's a local Kent fighter, and it's great to have him on the card. So, without further ado, it's all about the fighters on this top table, so I'm going to open questions to the press and media, and I'd like to encourage uh, questions if you, if you can, please. Thank you. Um, you're boxing for the uh, European Union title. Um, do you know much about your opponent? Um, we've had a little look of him on YouTube. Um, I know he's a lot shorter. Um, yeah, I know he's a strong game kid. But we've, we've looked at him and uh, we've, we've covered all areas that we need to in sparring. We've uh, used uh, similar sparring partners to the last fight, being a similar sort of style fighter as well. And we think we've got a spot on for this year, so I'm looking forward to it and looking to impress and, and show everyone what I can do down here. Yeah, it'd be nice. Closer to home as well. So who have you been sparring? I've been sparring with um, Ricky Boylan, uh, Ben Murphy, Sam Webb, um, Chas Simmons. So we've covered a lot of different styles, strong fighters come forward 
and I think we've got, we've got it correct this time, so yeah, looking forward to it. James, the new promotional team for you, has, has the changeover gone? Yeah, it's gone great. It's gone great. Uh, I really like Mick. Uh, he's, a gen he's a genuine man and uh, we get along and I think we're going to make a great team. Mick, how do you meet your sign James up as soon as you knew he was going to become available? Yeah, very. Um, I'm very, I'm very, you know, one thing I should have said a minute ago, I'm very proud to have signed such a brilliant talent, you know, you know, this an Olympic gold medalist and the current European champion. Um, very, very proud. He's, he's, he's a special talent. I know he's going to be a, ma a major star in world boxing, not just you know, not just a crossover star here in the UK, but on on the world boxing scene. He's, um, you know, to do what he's done in 13 fights. I touched on it earlier. is incredible. It really is, and just shows what that Olympic pedigree means, especially the way he done it going to China. And you know the, the the hard draw he had, and the five wins, you know all of them genuine wins as well. I mean, you know that is backing up what he's now doing in the pros. So very very proud to have signed James. And not only that, you know I really do enjoy being around him as 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 a person and as a fighter. He's he's he, he's good fun, and he's he's a gentleman himself. Was that, there was real competition for his signature, was it? There was, yeah, and rightly so. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's a sensational talent. So, um, you know, he's, he's, he's basically come home to terrestrial TV and um, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna take him to the heights he deserves to be at. I know, though, I mean, obviously Price is fighting Harrison on Saturday. How yeah. confident are you that this is gonna be the fight that gets all the attention? Well, I'm very confident because, um, you know, we're going out to, we're going out to a mass audience. We're going out on terrestrial TV. Um, you know, the pedigree's there. He never got a bronze at the Olympics, he got a gold. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's the new, new star on the block. This is, this is about James the Gale now, so i um, very confident. James, you've not boxed too, enough times or too many times since, you, uh, since the Beijing Games? So you've, got to get, you've got to get your foot, foot on the gas a bit now to get, get a Yeah, yeah, and I spoke to Mick and uh, we've, got, we've got a plan for the next year and uh, I'm going to be very busy. Uh, as I say, I'm going to touch when I come through this on, on Saturday, or when I come through this on Saturday. Uh, I'll, I'll be boxing again in December. So uh, as I say, in the, next, in the next 12 months, I'll be out five times. So that's what it's about, it's, it's being active uh, and keeping busy. Know much about your opponent? I don't. I've seen. Uh, I've only seen a little bit of footage of him, and uh, he looks in shape. He looks in good shape. Uh, he's tough. He's he's game. He's never been stopped. So uh, I prepare myself for a hard twelve rounds, uh, and I expect a hard fight on Saturday. But I've trained extremely hard, and I want to put on a great performance for my uh, Channel Five debut. It's a bit of a bit frustrating noise. I've been extremely. Uh, no, well, I'll tell you, I'm lying. I'm lying. It's like the last 12 months have been frustrating. Uh, to have only one fight with in the, in a year is just just unacceptable. It's crazy. Uh, as I say, we've sat down and spoke about it, and I'm going to be busy, and that's the main thing: the rounds, the experience, uh, and hopefully we're on course uh, for what I want next year. Training's gone great once again. I've got one of the best trainers in the world, Jim McDonald. He's been there and done it. Uh, you know, I'm always going to be extremely fit coming, uh, come, come fight night. Uh, I've had some decent sparring. I've had, uh, I've been doing a lot of sparring with someone called Joe Duffy. Uh, he's a t like he's been around. He's done the rounds in the gym. I think he sparred the likes of uh, George Groves and Cleverly and, and Chris Eubank Jr. and people like that. He's gone in. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've done, I've done a lot of sparring. I've done a bit with Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, I've had all different kinds of sparring in, um, ball sparring in. So, uh, sparring in the training bit, I'm fine. Come fight now, I can walk to the ring with a big smile on my face because I've done all the hard work. Uh, and I'll be ready to do the business. Do you feel this is your real chapter in your career now, Almost definitely. Like I, said, like I say, fresh start, a new yeah, beginning. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. A fresh new, a fresh new promoter in Mick Hennessy. Uh, 
and terrestrial telly or canals or that's this fantastic. James, it's often trumped out that no British Olympic champions gone on to become a world champion. You intend to break that record? Yeah, I'm here to make history, man. Hopefully uh, I can do that. Uh, and I think with, with the right training, with the right guidance, I can definitely 100% do that. I've got the talent. Uh, so I'm looking to uh, make history in the next couple of years. Did the Olympics in London make you think back four years? And oh, definitely. Going to the Olympic Games uh, in London uh, was great. I was getting that feeling back again, man. Uh, when I went to the arena, the atmosphere, and uh, yeah, it was just great just to see all the boys doing so well, and girls as well. Uh, it really gave me that boost and that extra kick. Uh, so yeah, we've done great. We've done really well. To avoid a silence, James, um, the platform you're on now is Channel 5, which is rather, which is millions rather than thousands. Just walking through the shopping centres today, you'll notice rather than posters, there are TV screens yeah. showing what good exposure you're going to get. McKenney has presented that yeah, to uh, you. Are you excited, yeah? Yeah, I'm very excited. As I say, my terrestrial telly is what every professional wants, is to instead of thousands of people watching you, millions. And, and, with, and, with, and with Channel 5, that's what I'm going to get. So uh, Mick Kennedy's has done very well. Uh, and as I say, it's exciting times. Uh, an exciting future, I can't wait. Cannot wait. That's Jim, how helping someone at James's level should be fighting every year, roughly, would you think? In James's particular case, um, ever since he's been an amateur boxer, especially over the last few years of his career, his activity has been absolutely non-stop, boxing regularly, going to tournaments, boxing four or five times in maybe eight or nine days, so for James as an individual, it's a major part of what he does, so it really, really is important that he gets the momentum going into his boxing, boxes regular, and then you'll see the best of James, which people haven't seen as of yet. Have you been taking him around, Jim, to other, to other gyms for sparring, or have you stayed in Nelson? Yeah, we've 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 done the travelling over the over the period of his career. He's been to Vegas and here and there. And one of the major things with James is like to keep him motivated. Like obviously, when you're not boxing for a long, long time, he's shown a lot of um, unhidden thing. What tells me how much he really wants to achieve things in this sport to stay in the gym and stick to the things that I make him do and the runs that I make him do with no date in, in mind is been a real testimony to how much he really wants it and now since he's had a date he's got a new bounce in his step it's unbelievable but he, at all times he's been a thorough professional he's lived by the word professional he's been in the gym literally every day without any any contest coming up and he's, he's been a, a credit to himself and he really has done himself proud in, in that, that, that department because it's not easy to work to the levels that I push on and James ain't no different than anyone else. He gets down, gets dirty and works hard. And because he ain't had a date, everyone else is boxing. He, he's, he's been really frustrating for him. But he hasn't missed a session, literally. Every day, 24-7, he's on it. That's his desire to, to reach where he wants to reach. He doesn't just train when he's got a fight. He trains 24-7. So he, he's, he's been a credit to himself. He really has. Um, James says he wants to make history, Jim. But it'll be a bit, little bit of history for yourself if he gets there, won't it? Yeah, I mean, for James to achieve his goals, he's just got to do what he's doing, just be himself, uh, get momentum in his career. Um, I've worked with world champions, been close myself to touching the uh, the ball ball, so I know what it takes. And James is a unique talent, he really is. Um, he does things in the gyms that you can't teach no one. He's just got an unbelievable talent. Just Sometimes he does things just completely out, out of the water. You just can't teach someone to do. Just an amazing talent, really is. It'd be, be good for you to get your first world champion as a trainer. Yeah, I look forward to it. I've, I've, I've had a couple of Herbie Hyde as a world heavyweight champion. And, but with James, it'd be special. It's right from the start for me when he's a novice, professional, not novice boxer. To go right through from the start of it, right to the end of it, would be absolutely fantastic. Mate, you know a bit about super middleweights, having developed Carl Frock. Um, how do you compare them to <laughs> Well, look, if I can put it this way, um, right now, there's no, there's no questioning who the best super middleweight in the world right now. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a brilliant fighter, um, and he, he stands out head and shoulders above everyone. He's on one of the pound-for-pound -pound fighters, Andre Ward. 
I consider that James has got similar talent to Andre Ward. My job is to nurture James, you know, allow Jim, Jimmy to do his job in the gym, bring him on with the right fights, and allow him to use that top talent at top level, like Andre Ward. I believe when, you know, let's not forget, Andre Ward won his gold medal four years before James. So when the time is right, you know, they're both gold medalists, they both got incredible talent. When the time's right, I believe at super middleweight, James the Gal is the only fighter capable, capable of beating Andre Ward when the time's right. Because he's up there, he's got that supreme talent. That's, that's a brilliant answer. I didn't hear the word anyway. But <laughs> there you go. I think it says it all though. Talent wise, you know, we have the most talented super middleweight in the world, bar Andre Ward at the moment because he's proved, proven at that level. As soon as I'm checking your curveball, curve yep. you've now got two exciting fighters at middleweight, super middleweight, Chris Eubank, yep. who are now James, who are part of the Channel 5 team. How do you see the, the two careers develop? Well, you know, one, um, you know, one has had six fights and. Um, you know, he's he's obviously sort of like working his way through the rounds. Um, you know, you you mate Junior is is having his first eight rounds on the show, and is developing very very quickly. Um, at, currently, he's at middleweight. Um, you know, obviously with his age, it looks like at some stage he will be a full blown super middleweight. But you know, James is um, already proven in the pros with a British title and now European title. So there is there is a gap there probably of about eighteen months. So. Um, you know, Chris Eubank Senior really has to be nurtured over that period, and um, you know, I can see, I can see, there's a genuinely, uh, genuine sort of like, you know, rivalry here. Not that, not that James is looking for it because he's 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 a 12 round fighter, but um, I can see in 18 months to two years, I can see a massive, massive showdown here that, um, you know, could could be like the old Ben Eubank fights. With um, Dillian White, I believe that's the first time you've worked with him. What's the yeah. arrangement there? Is he going to be a regular fixture on your shows now? Uh, just currently on, on, on this, this one show. But um, his team have been a pleasure to work with, actually. Very professional, Joe Long and, and Dillian White. So I'm pleased to have him on the bill. Uh, question for Lenny Dawes. Um, this fight, obviously, on Saturday, massive fight for Coast Well, Can you see a potential showdown maybe with Darren Hamilton in the future? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to have a fight with Darren Hamilton. You know, it's uh, the British title one. He needed one more to win it outright. Um, I'd love to get on with him, but we get this this one out of the way first. And yeah, as you say, we'll just see what can happen down the line. But yeah, I'd love to get the fight with him, definitely. How much would it mean to win that British title? Oh, it's, it's, it would mean everything. You know? Everyone's chasing that title. Everyone wants it. And I'm, I'm almost there, one step away. I know, I know I can do it, but, you know, this fight's come up. I'm going to take this fight first gain a bit more experience and then yeah, see whether we can make the fight. And um, I, I know we, we can get hold of it, definitely keep it for keeps. Just, just like to add to that, you know, Lenny, Lenny's in great form at the moment. Um, you know, I've had him since, since he uh, turned pro, been together a long time now. And it really, um, I, I think he, he can win a European title and that's his, that's his goal and focus at the moment. He's won the British title. And I'm sure at one stage he'd like to get that Lonsdale belt, but you know he's number two in the EBU at the moment, so he's f focusing on uh, the EBU title. What sort of fight he expects on Saturday, and can he upset the British plans and hopes for James? Translation by Mickey Elliott. Thank you, Mickey. He just thinks it will be a beautiful fight. <laughs> yeah, he, know, he knows he's dealing with an Olympic champion and uh, one of the best sort of up and coming pros, and he's prepared himself accordingly. But he knows what he's dealing with. He knows it's not going to be a walk in the park. You know, it's a hard fight. It will be a, a you know it's a real spectacle. At the other end of the spectrum, we have. Um Adam Dinsdale, his fight slot is as a float, so he could be on TV in front of millions. How do you feel, Adam? If somebody could just pass in the microphone, please, so he could just have a few words. Big opportunity in amongst 
former champions and present champions, how do you feel? Oh yeah, it's a massive opportunity for me, especially like being in my hometown of Kent. It's first time I've ever like boxed in Kent as well, so it's like massive and just hopefully it can rise to the occasion, which I'm sure it will. I've done like 100, 170 tickets already, probably looking at doing about 210, that was only on a week's notice, so I've got a lot of support coming down and I'm going to show everyone what I can do. Enjoy the experience anyway. Any further Thanks. questions, Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, any further questions? Would you like to make your closing statement? Make um, yeah, first and foremost, um, apologies for Team Eubank not making it today. Um, as always, I'd like to, to, to thank Channel 5 for their great support, uh, proving to be you know, a brilliant ally to boxing. Um, and I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Lonsdale and Liquid, and of course, this fantastic venue that we intend to promote a hell of a lot at Glow. Um, you know, this, this is a, a brilliant place. It's, it's a day where people, families can actually relax, do what they've got to do, have something to eat, and then come to great fights, just walk across. So um, thanks to Glow. Um, we're really excited about this one. Great show, top to bottom. And I would encourage, you know, um, if anyone's writing in the papers, that people get tickets as quickly as possible because we're on our way to a sellout. So thanks very much. Thank you, Mick. Uh, ticket numbers are within your press packs, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your press packs. Um, don't forget the weigh-in uh, just outside at the plaza near the cinema. Um, Friday afternoon, I think the time is, Mick, for the weigh-in? One o'clock, one o'clock. And we should see you actually on the event night itself. Don't forget, live on Channel 5, live and exclusive Channel 5, 10 p.m. If we could just arrange a couple of heads-to-heads, -heads, please, Mick, for the main event. Yeah, absolutely. Both in front of the TV here and in front of the advertisement for Glow.